Hi Air Science, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you that are cross-watching in today's reading we're going to take a look and see what is the universe trying to tell you right now or what would the universe like for you to focus on right now especially at this point in time. It is going to be a general reading guys so if you're after a personal one feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Okay, is that a little bit better? So the cards are in frame. Okay, so Five of Cups, there's a really strong energy of the past, okay? Um, a lot of you, I feel like, are holding on to the past. It is difficult, I see, for some of you to let go of experiences or let go of memories that have caused you a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, like emotional disappointment and even suffering, okay? And there's this stuckness in the past, okay now you're it's important to know that you're you are the one that's keeping yourself stuck okay you're, you're keeping yourself stuck but the reason why people get stuck in the past is this need for certainty okay um and it's just it's this need to feel certain that you can avoid pain and that you can find comfort in your life letting go of the past means that you're letting go of, even though, you know, it's uncomfortable, it's familiar. So you would let go of what's familiar and you are then stepping out into the unknown. And the unknown is scary, okay, because it's not yet known, it's not yet written. And it's all about having the courage to face whatever it is that you're still holding on to and let go of it. Let go of, you know, what's familiar and step into what isn't, okay? Um, there's a sense of vulnerability to your energies right now, guys. There is. And it's this sense of it's difficult. It is difficult to learn to let go of the past um, because we tend to, as humans, we tend to link emotion to certain information, right? Um, I think there's a certain reason why you cannot move on from someone or why you cannot move on from something here. So if you're, because you're constantly fixated on something here, something that has caused you pain and something that's still causing you pain and it's causing you suffering. And it's easy to say, you know, you know, let go of this, but there's still so much emotions attached to this person or attached to this situation. Um, your memory, I think, of this situation is a little bit blurry. Um, and memory is a funny thing because it has a tendency, you know, our memories have a tendency to alter um, events. You feel things deeply, okay? And it's all about breaking through to your emotions, okay? There is still a lot of emotions tied to this memory or tied to this person or tied to this incident. And what's happening is those emotions are... Notice the chalices, right? Those emotions are filling those chalices up and those, um, and those emotions are also gathering. Okay, and because you're stuck in the past, I feel like you're preventing yourself from experiencing life right now, in the now, okay? You're experiencing life in your mind, in your memory, in the past. And it, it's really hard for you to move on when you're holding on to the past see what I mean and you're denying yourself the experiences that are being made available to you up to me to you now and you're also denying yourself the like the, the romantic energies or just any connecting energies that are trying to make themselves available to you now okay um I think it's important to acknowledge right because you've got so much suit of pentacles and pentacles is such a like the energy itself, it's so practical, it's just so, um, you know, it's a very stable kind of energy. And I think it's all about, like, you must first acknowledge what is it that's holding you back, okay? And you must first understand why it is important for you to move on, okay? Because if you don't admit to, if you don't acknowledge and admit, it can be very hard to move on if you don't necessarily know, you know, why. For some of you, you might need to forgive someone, okay? Either you need to forgive someone in person or in your heart. Sometimes you need to forgive someone even, okay? Because you've got the Hierophant very strongly here. Sometimes you need to forgive someone even if they didn't ask for your forgiveness, okay? It takes a big person to do that, but I think you got this. I think you're just the person for the job, okay? So it's all about forgiving someone. 
um, so that you can let go of the anger, okay? Um, forgiveness is not easy to do, but forgiving is so important here. For a lot of you, I think this is what's keeping you attached. You need to forgive yourself or forgive this person. Um, you know, forgive whatever, whoever this is for you, again, whether in person or in your heart, so that you can step into a more peaceful energy. Because right now there is a sadness in this energy and it's a heavy energy and there's a lot of emotions, right? There's a lot of emotions that are filling these chalices up. Um, but you need to you need to move beyond this, okay? You need to move beyond whatever this is because it's keeping you stuck. And you know this and you know this very well, but I think this is going to change the trajectory of whoever it is that you're connected to. So for example, you might be currently connected to a person who has hurt you a lot in the past, okay? Uh, maybe this person has recently like triggered you and maybe it's just brought back some really um, painful memories and feelings from the past, but you're still connected to the person. And it's, it's making it hard for you to build a new connection or to start all over again with this person when you're still holding on to that pain from the past, to that hurt from the past, okay? Um, it's really, you know, letting go, forgiving yourself, forgiving this person and just learning to heal that pain is going to change to the trajectory of this relationship or, you know, this connection that you're with or just, you know, the trajectory of your life in general, okay? And there will be new feelings that will flow in in this new chapter here for you. Some of you, you're stuck in a bit of like a negative loop. Okay. It, um, Pay very close attention to your emotional habits because your emotional habits have a lot to do with how you uh, react to any given situation, okay? Um, identifying what exactly are your emotional habits is going to shift you into a more positive direction. It's going to shift you from out of this um, state. So you need to take charge of your emotions because there's a lot of emotions that there's a lot of um, it's a different like spectrum of emotions here, right? There's some positive ones, but there's some negative ones and you can train yourself to feel joy. You can train yourself to feel strength um, and courage and passion, even when things aren't necessarily going your way, even when something bad happens. OK, um, you can learn to let go of a part to let, learn to let go of the past in a way that makes you feel more in control and more free instead of like being fearful. So when you catch yourself um, falling into a negative emotional pattern or a negative emotional habit, it's so important for you to interrupt that pattern and to cut that emotional um, habit okay, and switch gears. It's so important because you guys are ruled by mental energy. It's so important what you feed your mind, okay? Telling yourself empowering stories, empowering affirmations, feeding your mind with positivity, okay? And positivity is not about, you know, rainbows and unicorns and butterflies and whatnot, okay? No, um, you know, surrounding yourself with people who make you feel better, um, doing things that make you feel better, that put you in a peak state, okay? So it's all about, think of it, Think of it as a garden, and I'm going to use this analogy because, well, um, only because I think some of you, you're recently working on the garden, or some of you love spending time outdoors, but, you know, work on cultivating a thriving garden instead of just a dry patch full of weeds, okay? So, you know, we, we want a beautiful, thriving, blossoming, blooming garden, okay? Not just a dry patch with all of these overgrown, unkempt weeds. Um, 
whatever has happened to you here i think it's all about like letting go of the past i think it's this big thing for you okay and letting go of the past means that you can um, it, it means that you need to realize that everything that has happened to you has made you the person that you are today okay it's made you that strong beautiful resilient powerful person that you are today and you can absolutely bounce back from this okay the past is so much a part of who you are and when you love yourself your life becomes easier your life becomes better and it becomes to let easy it becomes easier to let go of the past shifting your focus right um you can't control the way other people feel you cannot control the way other people act around you as well okay our circumstances are not and i think a lot of people um you know a lot of people seem to think that our circumstances are this mysterious force a result of some sort of mysterious force but it isn't it's really the, the result of our own vibrations of our own decisions and our own choices and you have the ability to turn something negative here into something positive you have the ability to turn you know what is a failed relationship or some sort of failed situation into a lesson okay into a you know into something that's going to strengthen you you are in control so it's all about shifting your focus i think focus is a really good word okay focus shifting away your shifting your focus away from the people in the past and shift it into and shift it towards you in your future okay you can't take back an unhealthy relationship you cannot take back this breakup you can't take back you know uh this whatever happened to you like this failed opportunity you, you know you can't go back and fix something here you can't go back and fix a bad childhood or fix a bad relationship or fix you know a bad job whatever it is that you've done but i think that you know your past does not equal your future your past does not equal your future and every day every moment actually is a chance for you to start over and you absolutely have to learn you know learn you can't go back in time and fix anything but you can learn from it so that you don't have to you know repeat you can break the patterns and you don't have to repeat those mistakes again but dwelling on you know you can create the life that you deserve create the relationship that you deserve create you know the friendship the dream goals the life goals that you deserve but you won't be able to create it by dwelling on the past is what i'm saying and you've got so much beauty and you've got so much goodness that is ahead of you you know you've got so much stability and prosperity and abundance that lies in wait for you okay but you cannot absolutely get a hold of it or you won't be able to allow it into your life if you keep you know if you keep focusing on the past you can create the life that you deserve teach yourself to be present guys just be very present be present in the moment because the past that's that's happened the, the future well that only exists in your imagination really all you have right now is the moment okay and just remember that um you know memory is such a funny thing about memory but memory only exists in your like the past only exists in your memory and i was saying and i'm pretty sure i said this earlier but like your memory has a it, it has a way of altering things so it can your memory can be altered and tainted with falsehood okay sometimes you you know things don't always happen how we remembered it okay because it can be tainted the only thing that is real is what's happening right now okay so learn to be more in the present all right guys and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to this channel do hit that subscribe button guys it does help the channel to grow um and thanks again